Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nasim once again. And today I'm actually going to test one thing. Okay, in my last video, I was talking about the GTM for WP plugin. So for somehow the plugin didn't send the actually the purchase event. So when I posted that video on my YouTube channel, one guy actually comment on my video uh, with the solution okay the gtm developer plugins is now not showing the parses event because the plugin has been updated the plugin update please deactivate cash flow you will see the purchase okay we will follow that so we will update the plugin and then we will deactivate the cash flow plugin and then we will check again okay let me check so this is my website and this is the back end and uh, first of all we need to check the plugin section so we need to go on the plugin and we need to update this plugin so as you can see this is gtm for wp don't require any update so that means this is the latest version and the second thing is we need to delete the cache flows so just deactivate that so we skip and deactivating so now our carts flow sorry it's carts flow it's now deactivate and then gtm for wp plugin we need to check the G with the gtm code okay so we need to input exact same gtm code on there okay and then we need to save it and we need to verify one more settings uh, which is on the like the integration section and then woocommerce and turn on e-commerce event okay and we need customer data in data layer this second so that means when some one input their personal information we need that data on our customer data layer okay and then same changes now it's time to test again so go to preview and go to the website url and then connect it's connecting yes now it's connected and first of all quickly purchase one product this is the add to cart view cart and then check out and then information already fill up place the order with yes the checkout has been completed go order received go back to assistant yes that's very very interesting part guys for one reason this and all the customer event also sending this plugin okay so this plugin also pretty good and you can see new customer event it's called false okay it's not a new customer uh, we already purchased many times so that's it so that layer is cool so you can use this plugin so this is gtm for wp you definitely you can use this one if you want so so in what race these two plugins are great so gtm for wp and gtm kit okay you can use anyone and thank you very much i just want to thank this guy so thank you very much for your great advice and if you are new to this channel guys please do subscribe and if you already did i really appreciate that see you on the next one till then bye have a great day